hey guys welcome back so guys now we are going to continue our laravel e-commerce series that is to design our checkout page and continue with its process so guys till now we have clicked on pro proceed to check once you are logged in that time the data should get in okay so let's log in with that in dot com one two three four five six seven eight let's log in and let's see what happens okay so you are successfully logged in you are logged in successfully and let's again proceed to checkout so you will go to checkout page right so now let's create the page for checkout so let's move back and let's close everything and align the arrange it so let's go to route web.php and inside auth middleware we will put the checkout option okay so auth authenticated thing should be and its user also is common so we will check out the data over here check out get where we will set the checkout thing so we will paste that checkout check out and now over here you have to create the controller okay so let's call the front end folder backslash checkout controller at index right so now let's create a path for it i mean controller so plus control tilde or just open a terminal over your new terminal so you'll get the option and now let's type php artisan make colon controller where inside front end forward slash will paste the checkout controller okay so you can see your front end folder it's available already if it's not available it will be created hit enter controller created successfully let's open this a checkout controller has been created so let's view it save this control s so let's close this terminal and yes guys let's create a function so f u n and type your function as index where here you are getting all the request and data if you want you can pass it or else we will directly view the page first return view where we will show the checkout page so front end return front end dot checkout folder not checkbox checkout and inside that index we will tell okay so now let's go to our front end folder inside the resource folder so let's click on resource views inside views we are going to front end inside front end we will create a new folder called check uh, check out let's hit check out and we will create a simple page inside this called blade index dot blade dot php file done so now our blade file is created so guys now you can see the path that routing has been come and let's move to this page so guys as you have extended your cart page cart page design so same thing we will include everything right for example this is our uh, navbar and uh, extended things right so that thing we will push it into our checkout page so let's uh, i have clicked on proceed to checkout it's still loading there was an error controller does not exist so let us import that hit it check out so let's copy this and let us see the check out check controller we have given instead of that we have to give check out controller right so let's save this i mean reload the page so you can view the output cool so the page has been loaded and now let us import all the files 
all the extensions from your cart page so guys as you can see let's move to top this is our banner section and other things so let's input the things and finally we'll close this section save and take this div tag below and end the section done so guys now let us tell this as home checkout copy this and your title also make it check out done and let's reload the page and see the output cool so the title also is seen as checkout and home it is shown checkout great so guys now what we have to do we have to design a form to be checked out right so guys uh, let's go to our table over here you can see in our fabcart table where we have the user table inside that user table we have some data so called like address address to city state pin code right which is in our user table so same data we will we are going to call for it so let's design the output for it first and then we will proceed with it so guys um i'll just start with this demo and i will show the complete part of it so let's I'll just show you one demo how we are going to create that input dot form control label where we'll tell us first name as you can see in our user table there is only name no first name and last name so let's give see a last name also is provided below okay so you can mention that first name and last name over here also right so let's give a placeholder and tell uh, tell this as first name let's save this control c save and let's reload it hit enter on the url and check so guys this is the scenario which we are going to proceed with it right so we will design as the, and i will show you the final output now because it will take more time to start the coding part so i'll just complete and show you the final output so guys now this is our design which we have completed now as you can see first name last name phone number alternate phone number address address to city state and pin code we have given okay so these data are already in our user table so that thing only i have inserted over here as you can see phone and alternate phone right so thus both data over here i have fetched it and other remaining two things also let's move to the code and let me sidebar minimize this okay so i just given a seven row column inside that and then as simple created the row and divided by 2 in 12 6 6 i have made it then after that first name last name phone number alternate phone number then address 1 and 2 then city state and pin code we have given done let's save this and now what we have to do is then finally submit the submit button where i have given the place your order and now to conclude all this this row will minimize it and give a form tag okay without forgetting let's enter the form tag and now paste this below done so once you place the order the time the thing should go into your order table so method post and here you will give a url where url will be place hyphen order right so place order will mention this over here 
and let's give the name also as place order itself let's type the name is equal to place underscore order i have given order one more thing we'll mention of button place order button cool great so these two things we will do now and now you will fill all the data and get the you by placing this order right so before that placing order what orders are you taking right so those orders we want to display here at the side over here i want to display over here what data should be displayed our cart page data so this cart page is there right so these two product name and price and grand total we will show okay so let's copy the cart things from there and paste into this checkout page also so as simple when you go to your uh, cart page see here when we go to cart page front end controller let's go to our front end controller where cart page we have created this right so let's copy this the cookie which we are storing it and let's paste it inside this checkout page simple and let's extend this with route with view we are going to put and pass this cookie data whatever we have stored in it done so if you are using cookie make sure you are importing it so let's import it from previous controller itself paste done so let's save this and let me execute it so before executing what we have to do we have to design our i mean take some data from your cart dot php blade file so let's go to your cart blade file and you can see that whatever you have used you will take it out so before taking it we will i'll just show you one simple demo what are those things so i'm taking this i'll just copy and paste after the form tag so this is my column 7 and remaining column is 5 inside this we'll paste that and remaining data we will tell simple and now we will design the part over here okay so as you can see i'll just show you on demo called with i will give let me save this over here you will get the output with right so here we are going to say only the order product name price and its quantity three things we will show so as simple you can design in a table format where you will give a class for it so let's finish it soon with this table head tr and table heading that will be product and then price quantity done so let's take the table table body table row table data so where you are going to get all the details from here okay from your shopping cart so we have already done here so we are going to just copy and paste that same thing we don't need to work again and again so let's copy this for each loop let's copy this and paste before the tr and end the for each save it and let's call this card data of its item names so those item names are like let me minimize this 
Okay, so here you can see the item name. Save this and get that. The price also, item price you want. If you want in number format also, we can take that. Number format, copy. And final one quantity that is we are going to get the quantity value we have inserted into a here item quantity so let's copy and paste that also done so now let's reload this page and check the output for it simple nice so guys now if you want to design in nice format you can use the card and all so I will just show you the final output of this of quantity and this price total grand total i will just show that total thing so let us get the total value so to get the total value we have to multiply with this where is our last code so we are using this code to get multiplied and get the output so it's inside the for each loop okay so it's inside the for each loop let's hit enter paste that's it so this is the quantity which we have pasted and the item price nothing but and you multiplied and given a total value where total is equal to zero i have assigned with that and then this total value we will display at below so let's copy this and you can tell over here after the table body hr will give horizontal row one div tag and inside the class we will mention text write h5 we'll give h5 and inside that we will place grand total and add it dollar total let's echo this value and save and let's print it if you want to assign in number format you can assign that in number format also so number format all in the sense means in this view i just wanted to make it very clear so let's assign with zero over here just it will be showing with the separated commas so guys you can see that separated comma is shown cool so now guys you can understand that these two product has to be placed in your order while saving this data and your product also so you need to create your tables like order items and orders so guys in next video we will continue about this when you click on place order that time what all things should be done so thank you for watching this video please continue in next video we will clear the concept of storing your orders and multi orders so thank you once again